What is up guys, Apathy back in the building today with another video and today we're going to be doing an MOG class setup video but updated. A lot of you guys know I did one pretty much at the beginning of the game and a lot, a lot, a lot of things have changed. You know, there's been nerfs, there's been buffs, there's been different metas, new metas, old metas. So today I'm going to be going over my class and show you guys what I like to rock with because I'm a pro. Uh, I don't know why I said that, I'm a pro part, but whatever. Let's start off with the K-Bar. K-Bar, best gun overall, a best, basically a sub slash AR, very, very dominant. And I like to use the default scope. I think the default is the best just because it's just, the dots, sometimes it's hard to follow. Sometimes you will you will lose like sight of your opponent. Plus like the dots are a little bit too like bright. And in the default, it's basically a yellow, but it's like a dark yellow. So it's like easier, I guess it's like easier to see with it. But if you don't like to use the default, I think dots and lands are probably the other two best ones. But it, I would recommend you use default. Then I use grip, of course, quick draw, and stock. Pretty much necessary on the K bar. You shouldn't really change that. I got dexterity, attack resist, stat silence, and a fletch of grenades. Fletch of grenades are amazing. I really recommend using fletchets and respawn. The only time you should be using cluster grenades is mainly in search and destroy. So this is pretty much a class, and pretty much the same class for my second one. Uh, the only difference is I use blast shield. A lot of you guys know in hardpoint, mainly in hardpoint, but even in uplink, you know, nades are tossed a lot. Nades are OP'd in this game. Fletchets are really good. They're fast. They're effective. So a lot of people tend to use them. So I, I mainly like to use this class in uplink. I'll pull, I mean, in hardpoint, I'll pull it out in uplink here and there, you know, depending on the situation. But I also like to use this class because I love the fast reload and being able to like switch my weapons really quick. Obviously, I don't have a secondary, but if I pick up another gun, maybe if I pick up an NV4 or, you know, it's just, I guess the main thing is just to reload quickly. Then for my third class, it's the K bar. Same thing, but instead, I'm rocking double first perk. The Dexterity and Blast Shield. This is more of a kill horde class. You know, I am not, I'm not using a tactical, I'm not, or a lethal, if you want to say, and I'm not using a second perk. This is more if, you know, maybe I'm doing bad or I'm feeling myself or like more of a, a kill horde sort of class. You know, I don't use this all the time, but, you know, there's times where like I feel like I'm doing bad and I'll pull this out. You know, I'm like, maybe this will help me out. And it's just like I said, I, I like Dexterity. Like, I feel like with Dexterity, I'm allowed to play a little bit faster, play at like um, the pace I like to play at. And it just it allows you to do that with the like, one, main reasons of being able to reload very quickly. And, you know, let's say maybe picking up a secondary gun or picking up like a gun in your pocket and you can obviously switch very quickly as well. So this is a really good class to use. You can test it out. Some people like to even use long barrel. You know, let's say instead of blast shield, uh, I'll just put on long barrel. This is another kill whore class. Uh, I don't really like using long barrel too much anymore or rifled barrel just because I feel like is it, it isn't as, as effective. Yes, it can help. And yes, it can help you get more kills. But realistically, you know, I mean, you could you could work with both of them. And maybe if you like this class more, if not, you can use the long barrel class more. It really depends on what you're feeling or what you think is helping you out more. But that's more of a kill whore class. Then for my next class, basically the same thing as all the other classes, but no no second perk, no attack resist, because e stuns are, or EMPs are rarely ever thrown in a game. So not having a second perk, sometimes it's not bad at all. Like, you can get away with it. So for this class, I don't have a second perk. And instead, I have a jammer grenade and a lethal. So this is really good. If the other team, let's say, is not using attack resist, maybe they're stacking their class just like I showed you this class. Maybe they're stacking their class really hard. So this allows me to EMP them or a jammer grenade them, and it stuns them if they don't have attack resist. So it could be really effective. And obviously, the whole EMP, you know, they they don't have a radar for a couple seconds and all that. And it's just a really good class to have to sort of counter, you know, the other team if they're not using attack resist. Then for my next class, which is the NV4, I got Elo, Quick Draw, Grip and stock now some people are wondering why are you using grip and not rifled barrel well i feel like grip all right so this gun automatically barely has any recoil right grip ups that by like two three percent maybe like very small you know the gun already has like almost no recoil so why are you putting grip on but it helps it makes it have like absolutely no recoil whatsoever yes rifled barrel can help you at times but I just feel like, I don't know, I feel more comfortable with grip, especially with K-bars or, like, playing those close-quarter gunfights, like, constantly in your face and, and, like, just rushing you. I just, for some reason, I feel more comfortable and, you know, I feel like I, I kill easier with grip. R rifle barrel, aka long barrel, is probably more dominant, maybe in search or maybe, you know, for those longer gunfights. You know, if you're that type of player, if you're, like, sort of a main AR and you'd, like, like those long distance, then you can experiment, you know, maybe try rifled barrel. But I personally like grip. A lot of pros have been using grip. It's just, it's what's comfortable it's what's better long barrel in this game isn't really as effective at times just because you know a lot of the hills are close a lot of the gunfights are very close range it's, it's a close quarter 
uh, like game for the most part. You know, sometimes like let's say retaliation, first hill on the bridge, that might be an exception. You know, you can use it there. It might be effective. You know, it might help you get a kill or two, but. Overall, I think grip is good, and then of course the same perks. You pretty much can be rocking these three perks on almost every class: uh, blast shield, attack resist, dead silence, and a Fletcher grenade. Now for my subclass, I know it says K bar, it's misleading, but this is the E-Rad. <laughs> I have an E-Rad with quick draw, stock, grip, and particle amp. Particle amp is basically long barrel, helps you, you know, increase damage for a little bit long range, and grip isn't necessarily needed on the E-Rad. You know, I've tested it out. It the E-Rad already barely has any recoil. Grip barely adds to it, but it's sort of like the whole MV MV4 situation. It helps you a little bit more with the longer range gunfights, and it just helps you a little bit more in general. So even though this is not needed, like you could literally just run these three attachments and maybe put like tack resist and a jammer grenade. I I've done this before. Uh, I've been testing it out. I've been running grip, you know, and see how I feel about it. And you know, it it's a it's a little bit. It helps. Like it's a little bit effective. It helps here and there. And you know, I'm just testing it out. But I would recommend you use this class. You can, like I said, if you don't think you need grip, you can just use the attack resist and the jammer grenade. Then, of course, I have a Fletcher grenade, or you could even take this out and just run two Fletcher grenades. But I have a Fletcher grenade, Dexterity. Dexterity is really good on subs, and here's why. Subs obviously like range at times. It's going to be tough, or, you know, you're just... A K bar MV4 just outranges the sub for the most part. The main part, the main time, the E-Rad is going to be really dominant. It's obviously close range. But what's good about this, if you get a kill with an E-Rad, and even, even if you don't get a kill, like for some reason... Uh, guns are usually left on the map for a while. So let's say your teammate died or someone on their team died, their gun is still there. Like you, you could you could respawn, come like mid map and pick up like a K bar. And dexterity is really good with this because you know having that K bar in your back pocket in case you ever need it for like a mid range, long range gunfight is just really useful. So this is why I think really dexterity is really good on subs. Of of course you know a nades could be a problem at time. You know if you're really really having a lot of trouble, you know you get to put on blast shield. But I prefer dexterity. I just think it's helpful. I think it's 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 a lot better. Even it's it's a lot better on subs, and it could be more effective. And then of course you know dead silence. And then for my Evo class, yes I do have Evo. I think the Evo is really good. I'm still contemplating which one I want to use. I think the E is really good, and then I have good games of the Evo. Then I have good games of the E Red, and it's just it's it's hard. It's tough. They're both really good. They're both really dominant. I don't care about your award bonus, but the thing the thing that separates them both the Evo a little bit slightly better close range. Lacks a little bit longer range. Erad, more of an overall gun, you know, has good range, good damage, but a little takes a little bit longer to kill. But they still both kill pretty damn fast. Uh, on the Evo, I do not use stock. I feel like you do not need stock on subs for the most part. But the Evo, I feel like it's. I feel like stock is more obviously for like mid to long range gunfights. You know, you don't necessarily need stock on the on on the Evo. You know, it's more of a close range weapon. I prefer using a different attachment on this gun because the Evo is a little bit different, obviously, than the Erad. So I like to use extended mags because it has a, a clip of 32, I believe, and it goes by quick. Yeah, you know, you can use dexterity, and you know, if you really want like stock and you prefer stock, you can hold it, go ahead and use stock and just use this class instead. Of course, you have dexterity; you can reload very quickly. At times, you know, it's okay, but there's there's gonna be times where you're gonna run out of ammo, out of ammo you know maybe going for a two-piece uh, maybe you're just pre-fire something like it's gonna happen a little bit more often with the Evo just because how fast it shoots and how small of a clip it has so I just prefer to have extended mags on I don't think stock is that big of a difference you know like I said it's better for a little bit longer range gunfights and on top of that the subs already have a decent strafe compared to any other gun compared to ARs and you know it's just it's not like that needed and of course I have quick grip quick draw Cinemax rifle barrel, pretty much attachments you want on it, and then a fret, fletch it and dexterity and dead silence. Now, for this is an MV4 class for search and destroy. Most of these classes obviously could be pretty much used for search and destroy. Uh, they all have dead silence uh, for the most part. You know, they're all usable. You can literally use almost any of these classes for search. That's why it's not the same in this game where you know you have like a whole class set for search and a whole class set for respawn. But I do have this class for uh, search and destroy. Basically, a pistol on my side pocket because there's not anywhere else I could really put this point. So I have a pistol, I have blast shield, attack resist, dead silence, and I have a trophy and a fletcher grenade, and of course, quick draw stock. You don't really need grip or rifle to barrel, like I mentioned earlier. It's just something that if you, it can help. And you know, for respawn, it's a little better because some people are, you know, are. are experimenting with the emc you know using mv4 with a pistol and yeah it can work you know it's really up to you if you prefer using this type of class or you know you can still even do this let's say four attachment just run an emc instead of a fletcher grenade you can do that as well but you can experiment with the thing about the mv4 is like you mainly need these three attachments k bar you need or two attachments plus a sight but k bar you need three attachments 
at like minimum like you need to have it because if not the gun won't be as effective pretty much for the most part but with me4 you don't have to do that like you can just use these three and you have point two points for almost anything put, put a, a third attachment on me4 you want to put a jammer with a fletch it you know you just you have more op like you just have more options so this is a really good search and destroy class i like using a trophy because you know you know defending a bomb or maybe trying to rush a bomb and also you know when the when the nades are always thrown off the start so when the nades are being thrown it blocks the trophy obviously blocks most of the nades and it gives you points and that points goes towards your your specialist so it could be really helpful then i have a sniper that i don't really like to use but i'll show you quickly uh, i use old school variable zoom i think old school is probably the best one i got quick draw and ballistic cpu uh, you can use stock as well if you want but the reason i don't use stock is because it's not really that needed i have an emc probably the best pistol the Omni pistol is pretty good as well the only two are i think the candles allowed as well i'm not sure if the hellstorm is loud but uh, I think the EMC is the best one for the most part. Then I got Blast Shield so I don't just die or get naded somehow. Uh, Cold-Blooded, sort of needed. You know, attack resist, not really needed. I'd rather run Cold-Blooded in case there's another sniper. You get to counter him a little bit easier. And Dead Silence and Marksman. And Marksman is pretty real, it's actually really good on the sniper. So that's something you want to have for sure. And then for my last class... It's a double cluster grenade K bar. Um, as you can see, I don't have stock on this one. Stock is good, you know, but I rather, I definitely prefer having grip and quick draw, and of course an elo sight rather than let's say substituting a stock for grip, because in the long run, stock all is doing is strafing, while grip can actually like, like hurt me more. You know, when I'm trying to shoot someone, you know, I might my the recoil might kick too much and it's gonna fuck me up completely. So, and on top of that, I, use, I, ha I have this class mainly to maybe break certain hills. Uh, cluster grenades are really good to break hills. You can even run double fletchets if you feel more comfortable. I think cluster is a little better. So, this is a class I rarely pull out, but when I do, it's usually effective. And, of course, for my score streaks, before I go, I got a Scarab, Trinity, and Bombardment. Some people like to run Scorcher over a Scarab. I think Scarabs are really useful. Uh, Scorchers can be really good as well, especially on Retaliation. I'm not saying it can't. But I just feel like scarabs for the most part are really useful. I think I, f I like to I, f I find them a little bit more effective. Uh, maybe in the near future we'll see more scorchers being used, or maybe more scarabs. I don't know. But you know, it's in the end of the day, it's personal preference. So if a player maybe wants a scorcher or a scarab, doesn't really like scarab at all, then you know it's good for dumb. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it was very informative. You know, I tried my best to kind of kind of describe things really quickly and go a little bit in depth and you know talk. I talked a little bit fast, but I just wanted to make sure I said everything. So really hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to drop a like. Thank you so much for watching the video. This has been your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe again, and I'm out.